Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Smart art allows you to communicate information with graphics instead of just using text. There are a variety of styles to choose from, which you can use to illustrate many different types of ideas. In this example, I need to create a graphic to show the organization of the people at my company. Start by clicking the slide where you want the smart art to appear. Then go to the Insert tab. Select the Smart Art command, and you'll see a list of categories and graphics to choose from. The type of smart art I'm looking for is under the Hierarchy category. The graphic will appear with the text pane on the left. Now if that's not visible, just click this small arrow here to toggle it on and off. Now all you have to do is start typing, and the text will appear in your SmartArt graphic. It'll also be resized to fit the shape automatically. See how each bullet corresponds to its own shape? Now you can also enter your text in the shapes themselves, which is fine for a simple graphic like this. But for something more complex, you'll probably want to stick with the text pane. You can also rearrange these shapes from within the text pane using your keyboard. Pressing the Tab key will demote or move down a shape, while Backspace promotes or moves up a shape. It's a lot like creating an outline with a multi-level list. You can even add new shapes to the list by pressing Enter. Since I don't need that shape though, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Just select the bullet for the shape you want to delete, then press Backspace on your keyboard. And I'll go ahead and get rid of these other shapes too. Now if you'd prefer not to use the text pane for these tasks, just look to the Design and Format tabs that appear whenever you have your SmartArt selected. From here, you can easily add, rearrange, and remove shapes in your graphic. Now I'm going to customize the appearance of this graphic using SmartArt styles. Click the drop-down arrow here to see a full list, and hover over each style for a preview. PowerPoint also provides several color schemes for you to use with SmartArt. Simply click the Change Colors command, and choose something you like. Now if you decide you don't like the way your information is organized within a SmartArt graphic, you can always change its layout to better fit your content. Start by selecting the graphic you'd like to change. Then, in the Layouts group, click the More drop-down arrow and choose the one you want. You can also change the appearance and formatting of individual shapes and the text inside. Just select one or more shapes, switch to the Format tab, and take advantage of any of the options here. In this example, I'm just going to tweak the fill color for this shape. SmartArt is a great way to incorporate more graphics into your presentation and communicate complicated ideas with simple illustrations. 